So I'm part of a new generation that is working on sustainable changes, improving the local food system. But, you know, we built everything on the shoulders of giants. And we're adding our own piece and we're making it unique, but we can't take all the credit. We have to acknowledge a lot of very smart people who work very hard for <laughs> like a thousand plus years. My name is Tadek Vastravar, I'm the CEO of Cold Acre Food Systems. We are in Whitehorse, Yukon. We have consistent yields week after week, which is different from traditional agriculture. And this means that we can really plan for labor and for our sales and make a very consistent 1,000 pounds every single week. Our customers are typically Yukoners who really appreciate fresh food, fresh greens and things that were produced within 100 kilometers mostly. I'd say that for the restaurant side of things, the fact that it's being harvested the day that we deliver it, I think makes a large difference. Our largest customer base is usually First Nation communities. They'll often buy a system or want to work with us in order to land a food system within their community to increase the sustainability of their community, increase job opportunities, and overall contribute to something local. In 2021, we built a unit that went to Inuvik in the Northwest Territories. Now they are producing greens all year round in a place that was very far removed from anywhere that could produce greens. We're trying to look at the entire food systems for a community, not just one aspect. So when we design a food system for a northern community, we'll think about the size of the community and what their goals are. And we'll size a system to make it so that they can effectively feed their community, but not overproduce. When they buy a food system and deploy it into a community, we'll bring whoever's going to operate it into Cold Acre, and they'll work on our farm for two weeks or however long it takes for them to get comfortable so they know that they can operate their farm efficiently and effectively. We're proud to say that almost everything that comes out of our facility will be compostable in a proper facility. When you get a containerized hydroponic system like ourselves, we don't have to clear out a big section of land. In addition, the food is produced here. It doesn't need to be trucked in. We have organic waste, a bit of heat waste, and then we have a very, very small amount of water waste. Most of the water that gets pulled out of our systems comes out in our plants. We just have to flush out our reservoirs once every month or once every two months just to give them a nice clean. And other than that, we're not really having any waste. It's all being consumed.